working. Let's see. We'll try this again. Hi, that makes, makes sense. sense. How are you? Hello, everyone. We're trying this again. We had some... Yay! Oh, great. Thank you. So now you can say... Okay, yeah. great. I feel like we were just talking to ourselves, which is Woo. no fun. I'd rather start it again. <laughs> Welcome, so everybody. Finally, Yay! finally, finally. See hey, smooth. see Hello. smooth. How are you? Thank you for inviting. <laughs> Hi, Blooming. Go with... Got Blooming got <laughs> Hey, that makes sense. I'm so glad that you all are able to uh, yeah. to see us and comment now. Better to be able to talk know, to you. I know. We were having some internet connections here in the office. For those of you um, who don't know us. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Liz. Hello. Hey, how are you? For those of you who don't know us. <laughs> yes, I'm Kelly Fisher. And I'm Tana Gilmore. And together, we're, we're the, the Matchmaking, matchmaking Duo. Welcome, Welcome to our lunch book. Lunch Scope every Wednesday at 1230 Eastern Standard Time. We have a lunch together here on Periscope. And we hope that your new year is starting out well. Thank you for well. sharing. Thank that you makes for sharing. Sense. Thank you. We certainly appreciate that. So what are you having for lunch? We were asking that before, and we didn't get a chance to... Oh, I didn't turn my phone off. It's well, fine. you'll hear it ringing. But anyway, what did you all have for lunch? What I was saying that I had a chicken biscuit for breakfast, which mm. was delicious. Mm. I rarely get that, but it was good going down. Where from where? Chick-fil-A. Oh. It was a real <laughs> big, buttery. It was delicious. Oh, <laughs> it was one of those yeah. days. So, so, but I haven't hey, had lunch yet. Hello, it's Tan. Oh, it's Tana. Are you saying me? Hi, to, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with it. Hello, You're hungry. Welcome. Single in the suburbs. What's going I'm on with the Mexican? The tacos. The tacos. tacos. You have tacos or every or day. Or every something. Wednesday. I love yeah, Chick fil A. We too. do too. Me too. But I never go for the us. biscuit, but it was one of those days. Yeah. I was starving and. A lot going on. <laughs> so we have so much to do today. So I don't even know if I'll be able to eat until after four. We have no, probably not. Interviews today. We are expanding our team. Yay! Yay. So we have interviews coming in. <laughs> yeah, this year we want to offer an even greater level of service to our clients. So we're going to have um, a bigger support team, our yeah. admin team. So we can't wait to see who's going to, and we'll announce it and we'll have them on hopefully next week. Yeah, that'd be great. Our yeah, newest so addition to the team. I tried yesterday. And my work husband wouldn't go. Really? <laughs> <laughs> work husband. That's funny. We got to go on your own then. Hi, Ariel. Ariel. Ariel forever. Hello. Welcome. Thank I've not you. seen your name before, so I don't know if yes, you... Yes, let's see who's new. Yeah, who's new. If you've joined us before... Um, let us know. Type new in the box. If it, yeah, if it's your first time. That'd be mm -hmm. great because we'd like to welcome you. you. And thanks for all of you who have come back. So all of you who have come back and are in our tribe, thank you for joining us we again. We look for it. you every Wednesday and it makes our Wednesday and helps us to get through to Friday. Yes. I don't know about you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah, are, so mm -hmm. today we are going to talk about... Um, a couple different things. So, Hi, hey, I, I know I didn't see your Yay. name before. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> and please share, invite your followers. Please do, please do. <laughs> and for those of you who are new, I don't know if you know, we are relationship coaches and certified matchmakers mm -hmm. um, here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And you can find our website, www.thematchmakingduo.com and our social media, Matchmaking Duo. Um, so please follow us. Please um, log on to our website and see what we have going on. Join our data, our complimentary database as we are looking for um, potential candidates for all of our clients. We start in our, our database, so that's confidential. No one else sees that. But and us, it's free yes. to join. So, so you we want you that. to join that. <laughs> and wait a minute. We also um, blog for Essence.com right. every other Tuesday. So look for our blogs Next there. Next Tuesday. Should Every be other there. Tuesday, yep. Great. And for those of you, someone asked, I think it was one or two scopes ago about, um, hi there, first timer, welcome. Hey, welcome, Yay, first timer. Liz. Welcome, Liz. <laughs> someone asked about the jacket on my website. They've never seen it yet. Because <laughs> she never so wore I it again. I broke it out today just for you. <laughs> and I haven't worn this since. We took the picture for the website, which is forever. A few so years ago when we first I put it did on with our, our <laughs> with our shirt. She walked in with that jacket. I'm I said, like, what? Jacket I'm telling out. you, if she wasn't going to wear it, I was going in that closet and I was going to wear it. She'd be like, what do you have on that silver jacket? This is just for you. Whoever asked me about it, I have broken it out again. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I wear my stuff. I mean, she'll leave that stuff in there and she'll never pull well, it out again. I mean, again. you can't really go to the grocery store or whatever. And it's like, I don't know. Yes, well, you, can. you know, I probably would. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, everybody. So today we get, um, so let me just rewind we get so many uh people that come to us with uh, various questions on our ask the duo tab and um, a lot of them are serial first daters and so they wonder 
you know, why is it that I don't get a second date? How come they don't call back? Why do they become ghosts? So we thought we would um, compile just a few different tips or, I guess, reasons of why that may happen. Right. Has that ever happened to any of you? I mean, when you've been out on a first date and for whatever reason, you don't know what happened. Like, you know, and for men or women, women you're like, well, what? I mean, did I didn't, they didn't call back. I'm what thinking everything went well. Yeah. Like, what on earth did I do? So uh, let us know. We want to know because, I mean, we've all been there. We've all been there. It's not a really good feeling. It's either, not a good feeling. You are kind of wondering, well, what was it? I mean, did something not smell right? Or did my dress <laughs> off or what? You got to have something Is food it my sarcastic what, what? jokes right. or whatever? But, you know, we get that question so often is that they, they, have, they feel like um, the first date went well, but then they don't hear from that other person again. Yeah. And, and so that happens really it often. It does. And, it, and it's, we get it from a lot of uh, women also. And so we've come up with several different reasons why. Mm -hmm. um, the first reason is... You go in just talking too much. You talk too much. You talk about your last relationship and what he or she did and why you're not together anymore. And you point all of that blame on them yeah. And without accepting any responsibility for anything that you've contributed to the failed relationship. Because we've all contributed something, right? <laughs> we get right? parts on that. Right, right. <laughs> it's you a got, serious TMI. It is. It's it too is much, too, much too much information. information. You don't need to... Um, talk about your don't talk about your ex. No, Please don't no, talk about not, because you're on the first date. No, that is too much. That's for another conversation. And so, in this first date, you should be trying to get to know each other. Right. You should be trying to get to exactly get to know the person, find out I'm their likes. I'm just trying to get a date. Hey, that's fine because <laughs> you're going to be ready when you get one. Right. So just don't talk about your ex. <laughs> no, don't do that because we wanted to go to second and third and fourth. And here's date. A, and here's a tip. So here's a tip and write this down. Right. So if they ask about the ex, right, hobbies are great. Mm -hmm. um, so if they ask about your ex, say, you know what? I'd rather not talk about it. Things um, we're not together anymore and that's perfectly fine. I wish them well. So you always end it with, I wish them well, because you don't ever want to seem bitter. Mm -hmm. right? I had a guy do that to me, and it was all her fault. Exactly. Oh and that's what I was going to mention, because you think that you're saying all this stuff and all that they did wrong and all that, but the person's looking at you like, well, you know what? They can do no wrong. Exactly. Obviously, it was all the other person, and it's never all the other person. Never. So, like mm -hmm. Tana said, you want to just say, you know, it just didn't work out, but I wish them well. Exactly. There's always three moving. sides, her side, his side, and somewhere in the middle, there's the truth. Right. Right? So... <laughs> That is so true. Hey, Chrissy May. Hello. Hi. I don't think I've seen your name either. I, are you new? Hello. I, I love, love your response. response. And no, no politics. Oh, we Ooh. hear that too. It's on politics our list. Or religion. Religion or politics, especially now that it's election time. Mm -hmm. Don't even comment about it because actually, so this is a true story. So we had a client go out on a date, um, I don't know, maybe about a month ago, and all they talked about was, you know, come to find out that other person was a Republican. She was a Democrat. They already didn't hit it off because of that reason. Right. And so that's something that you don't even really need to know about right now. Hello, I'm just Sarah Hi, from Bowman. Hey, Sora. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Yes. Welcome. And somebody else mentioned Bitter Betty. So that was our, our next point. Really, when you go in and you're just complaining a lot. So you're complaining at the wait staff. You're complaining about, oh. you know, um, past relationships. Just someone who's a Debbie Downer for what we call Negative. it. Anyway. You want to be upbeat. Politics and religion are definitely triggers. Yes, yeah, you that don't want that. Sense. Don't even talk about it. Just ignore it. If it if it comes up, say, you know, I'd really love to learn more about you. And we can discuss this at another time, but I'm here to learn more about you. We have a limited, you know, a limited amount of time. And I'd just like to learn as much about you as I can. Right. And keep it moving. Mm -hmm. In a light voice like that and keep it moving. And that's no the politics. Thing. Yeah, you want to keep it fun and light. Mel so B, anytime, hello, hi there. Anytime that you think that you're kind of going left, even if you're having a bad day, even if you're in a bad space, that's not the time a first date to unload all of that on the first person mm -hmm. on the first date right. because they're thinking, okay, no, this is going to be too much. This is going to mm -hmm. be way too much. And I think basically you're both kind of looking across the table saying, is this something that, where can I fit in? Is this something that I can see myself with long term? And if you keep going and complaining and doing all kind of um, downing on everything from and just being in a bad mood, they don't want any parts of it. Mm -hmm. So they're gone. So another so. thing I wanted to mention too is for those of you who have children. So people just they their children are their life and they think that everybody else, you know, that's your jewel. It's not everybody else's jewel, right? <laughs> so don't go telling, you know, about all your kids awards and, you know, at all, you know, anything about your children. We say leave the children out of it. There'll be times in a time and a place for you to discuss your children. We know you're proud of them. That's great. Save that for your girlfriends. This is the first date. Right. So you don't want to reveal, you know, everything about your, your children because it makes it seem like you don't have a life outside of your children. Right. So, you know. And I think you 
you do want to yeah, tell you, them that you know your children are important to you because they probably you know, they should be, but you want to probably leave it there. They're right. important to you. You know, we do a lot of things together, X, Y, Z, and that's it. And don't monopolize the entire conversation about your children, right? Because um, it makes you look boring. It does. So, <laughs> with our they quote don't know they want to take all that on again. <laughs> right. We have a quote in our book: "Relationship do overs. If you look boring, you probably, probably are. are." So. Yeah, so please don't talk about your uh, children, you know, limit it to like two seconds. Right. Really? And another thing is, um, you know, talking about your weight and all your flaws. Mm. So, you know, a lot of times we'll come in and just start apologizing for stuff, you know, and it really we always talk about even men and women are always looking for someone who's really confident. So don't go in saying, oh, you know, I wish I were a few sizes smaller or, you know, oh, you see this dimple over here I'm trying to get it worked on or, you know, oh, you see this chip tooth. I, you know, we don't need all that. Mm -hmm. So just go in, be confident. You are beautiful. You are handsome just the way you are. Go in in confidence and just leave it alone. And here's the thing. We all have flaws, mm -hmm. right? I mean, I got a roll on each side. I got a dimple here and there. I mean, we all do. But so nobody, nobody notices it as okay. much unless as you, you do. Unless you point it out, right. right? So just don't point it out because it's for perfectly fine. They don't care. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you would be surprised how many times Ooh. this happens. People go in and they just they start, start talking telling about, everything. Uh, nobody would even know. Things. Nobody would uh. even know you had three rolls in your back. Nobody would know. <laughs> so don't don't point it out. You're bringing attention to the rolls. So just leave it alone. Right. <laughs> Leave it alone. <laughs> and what about, like, I was thinking another thing that we talk about all the time is if you have a really hectic schedule, mm -hmm. you probably don't want to say <laughs> your schedule on the first date, too, because right. they're thinking, you know what, I can't even get, I can't mm -hmm. see I can't myself in. in here anywhere. So I have this on Monday. I have this on Tuesday. I mean, you want to look interesting, but you don't want to go on and on about, you know, all the boards and things and, you know, even work. We're talking about children, but talking about work and you know how hectic it is don't put all that stress on the first date because that's mm -hmm. something that will definitely make them run mm -hmm. <laughs> we're light over here okay yeah we're uh, light and airy on the first that's date. right <laughs> that's right for those of you who've ever taken our class our either attraction magnet class or our dating class thank you for the hearts. power or we have another class that we're launching too um we always talk about being light fun and airy mm -hmm. so um yeah you don't want any of that heavy stuff yeah another thing that'll make them um thank you ghost you is if you try to monopolize Hi, Jenny. all of their time so for example you're already asking well, what you doing tomorrow well what are you doing later well you know <laughs> i mean and that <laughs> You know, you don't want to seem like needy. And so we don't want you to seem needy. We don't want you to, um, you know, just mon try to monopolize all of their time because it just, it's like, whoa, it's like overload. So, yes. you know, don't Over try to do top. that. And here's the thing. If they don't call you back the next day, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay for you. Good, Good morning. morning. Good Hello. morning. You must be on West, the West Coast, Coast time. Coast. Good yeah. morning to you. <laughs> We're on East Coast time. <laughs> hey. Good morning. Um. So yeah, you, we don't um expect you to. It's okay if they don't call you back the next day. It's perfectly okay. Needing you, you. No, it's not. No, it is not. It's okay <laughs> for you to reach out also. So don't if for women. So don't just sit back and say, well, he didn't call me, or you know, I'm waiting for him to call. It's okay. So you <laughs> call him. Intended. <laughs> hey, I rolled with you. It's fine. I can do both. <laughs> so yeah, we don't want you to appear needy. So you know, yeah. uh, text them twenty times and call them, you know, all the time because it makes it seem like you don't have a life and that they're, you, you know, you need them to monopolize your time. And so yeah. nobody wants their time. Monopolized. But you know what? One thing that we and we'll let you in on a tip that we do with our clients, even for matchmaking, we the first date should be light, and the way that you do that is just make it a coffee or you know meeting for beverages or something like that. Mm -hmm. So forty five minutes max. If you meet for dinner, then that puts a lot more pressure where you have to start talking about all types of things and you really have to go through the whole meal. God forbid if you order appetizers all the way through dessert. So mm -hmm. it's too much pressure. You might not like him. He might not like you. So just meet for a beverage, Starbucks, Panera, something quick. Some Actually, we like a lot of off the beaten path That's places. right. So we usually try or to coffee find house our clients, or quaint, quaint yeah, places. wine bars or, or coffee shops. Mm -hmm. um, we try to stay away. Yola, from, I like that. <laughs> we try to stay away from, uh, you know, just like the Starbucks and stuff like that. Although sometimes in, in the area, that's, you know, where they may go. But yeah, so off the that beaten path. That takes the pressure off. It does. So you don't really want to do a whole dinner from appetizer to dessert because that's a good at least two hours yeah. that you may or may not you want to spend to with spend. that person. And you have to come up with conversation or else you're going to both be bored, at, bored to tears. So tell us some first date things that you, first date <laughs> stories or 
I know one of you, someone said that she was looking for a first date. So I hope you're in our database on yeah, our website. Yeah. Please so join our database. Join our database on matchmakingduo.com. But, I mean, we're, we've are we been talking. We have more where that came from. Oh, the other thing was being a potty mouth. Oh, if you are cursing like a sailor. Oh, that's not cute. <laughs> that's not is cute. not cute. It is not cute. It is not cute. Not on a date. And I know people think, you know, especially for women, it's like, you know, I want to let them know that I can. Let my hair down. Hair, yeah, relax. that I can mm-hmm. fit in, that I am I can be one of the mm-hmm. guys or whatever. But, no, looking for a first date as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay, welcome, welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me laugh. T- it happens. This is I'm telling you, this information Ooh. is tried and true that comes to us yeah. all the time. So maybe reserve yeah. that. Don't go. You want to mm-hmm. go in being a lady. Curse that men. Mouth. I mean, a lot of times when men come in cursing up a storm, mm-hmm. I mean, we're not attractive. offended a lot of yeah, times. It's, not it's like, you know, you know, I'm different. Don't treat me like See, that. See, it happened to you. Yes, I'm telling you. Just No, yes. that is awful. It's, and usually it's a turn you off. Not get a second date depending on the person but depending on the meeting <laughs> and you know it's so funny that we're talking about cursing so i read this article that people who curse are smarter <laughs> <laughs> but we still don't recommend it on That's the first so date funny. we still don't recommend it on the first date no so, you know no. at all actually because it's um it's just crap some men don't make past talk make it past talking on the phone or texting for that matter yeah I mean, this, they week, don't. this day and age they They're... just start texting and you can't even mm-hmm. get them so we always say, you know, I, I'd love to hear your voice. So transition it every time from texting to the phone. And then you just say, you know, I'd love to spend some time with you. Moving it from the phone to a date. Right. And you hate so. text messages. So again, we, we do too. So yes. text messages should only be a placeholder until you can transition to a phone. We say that all the time. Mm-hmm. So, you you know, you don't want to spend, um, spend a lot of time on text messages. And how you start the relationship is how it's going to go. So you have to train them. You got to teach them how to treat you. So again, you transition it from the from the text message. Thank you for the, the hearts immediately. <laughs> yes, and another thing I was thinking of is not being a gossip girl. Oh yeah, Mm-mm. or a guy. So you know, if you go in and start gossiping <laughs> about this person and that person and your family and friends and you know what they're doing, that person is smiling and they're going along with it, but they're thinking, you know what, they are so. probably mm-hmm. talking mm-hmm. about me like that, and they're going to tell all my business. Mm-hmm. So they're running the other way. Yeah. So don't think that it's cute to gossip and talk about other people's business because. You know, they're kind of thinking that's going to be them in a minute, which it probably will. Yeah, and you know what? It it shows that you're not trustworthy. And so who wants to be around someone that's not trustworthy? If you can't um, share your, um, not just secrets, but allow yourself to be vulnerable and think that it's going to Thank be shared. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we say just, you know, keep your mouth closed. <laughs> and you know what else just happened? Um, like body odor. <laughs> and I hate to put that out there, I but, know, but sometimes, it's, it's you real. Know, you really, especially at a certain age, you need to have a certain cologne or perfume that is of a certain caliber. That works for you. Yes, of right. a certain caliber, too, because some of them, I mean, even the really cheap ones, they start off great, and then before you know it, they are <laughs> gone. Minutes. They've gone left. left. <laughs> they have left the building, and left. they've left you in a Ooh, bad so spot. Bad. <laughs> so, you know, if you haven't updated your cologne or your perfume, just... Take a trip to the mall. Yes, I was going to be. Yes, being well, oh, well oh, groomed. Yes, that is a must. That is a must, is a must. for both men mm-hmm. and women. So don't just fall out. I and mean, we've had some men kind of fall into a date with a wrinkled shirt, or that's not Mm-mm. attractive. Mm-mm. It's not. You really need to have a good presentation. Ooh, dirty fingernails are the worst. Yes. Yeah, you look dirty mm-hmm. so, and unkept. And so we recommend that you. Um, at least, I mean, we talk to all of our clients before they go out. We usually Skype with them. We want to know what they're wearing, what their hair is going to look like. Um, that if they're first a woman, impression is so If they're important. a man, we want to make sure that shirt is ironed. We want to make sure he has on nice shoes. Mm-hmm. Um, what is and what, the, watch. the watch. What kind of watch We is check it? for everything mm-hmm. because we don't want the small things to come back and turn you off. So those things are all cosmetic, cosmetic and they can be fixed. But, I mean, we want you to have a great presentation the first time. Ooh, messed up shoes. Mm-hmm. And that's so, it's not even about spending money. You can have probably a cheaper pair of shoes, especially for men, but you want to have them, you know, buffed. Mm-hmm. You want to have them presented. So for women too, how about that heel? Ooh. That heel that's clicking down, Ooh. you know, take it to the shoemaker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We've all been there. I mean, they seem to, <laughs> they seem to wear, I think, faster these I days. Know. I don't know what it is, but the heel I don't even know if it's, I don't even know if it's the amount of money we spend on the shoes. It's not. But for whatever reason, the heel just does not last <laughs> Oh, if you need, long. I know they're your favorite shoes, but you might need neither need either need no to tap. no <laughs> tap oh those yeah. tapping heels Ooh, are the worst it's bad mm-hmm. <laughs> skip taps for both men and women right <laughs> so true 
Well, what? anyway, we thought we would spend some time with you guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to send us a question real quick before we jump off and get back to this hectic day of ours. But also exciting because we yeah. have a lot of new things yeah, coming did. up and we are adding to our team. Yeah, it's going to be an interview awesome in like 30 year. minutes. No, so thank you. Hello, thank you so much. Yeah, because if you all ever wondered, you know, why didn't they call me back? That could be a reason. So, um, Quit talking so much, you know, mm -hmm. smell good, <laughs> limit the date to an hour. Yes, know, and break out a sign. smile. That's when right. all else fails, just show them those pearly whites. That's right. And that works. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts. It's great so, seeing you guys again. Lunch yes, scope with go the get duo. some lunch for those of you who know, haven't eaten, sorry. everyone. Go get some lunch and get yourself fed so that you can... You know, finish out the day and the week strong. That's right. That's what we're going to do. It's Hopefully. been great, everyone. Please uh, join us on social media, the matchmaking duo. Yes, um, please follow us. Follow us and then look for it. We'll have some great things you too. coming up soon. Hope you have a great day. Thank the day. you so much, Mixie. I'm so glad you joined us today. Yes, and if you don't have our book, too, Relationship Do Overs, I mean, we poured a lot of this stuff into our book. So if you want to just order that on Amazon, it's a quick read. Everyone says that they really found yeah, it Yeah, so it has useful. a five-star rating right now, so it's great. So if nothing else, we would say read the book and jumpstart jump start your dating or your relationship life. And look and look forward to um, some events we have coming up that we'll be launching very You're soon. You're welcome. Hope you come Thank back. You. Thank you. So Second time you. on Yay. with you ladies. Thank you so much. We hope to Thank see you again so next Wednesday. Next we don't Wednesday care how busy we are. We try to jump on. Yeah. We haven't missed a, week, a Wednesday yet. No, so we haven't. Even if we're to. not even in the same place, if we're in, have, you know, have different things, we'll jump on either one of us or the other or back to back. We'll pass the scope. So we try to be consistent here. Yes. So. Well, you all have a great day and we will see Thank you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs>